Okay, so just just a question. I saw this on CNN. Do you do you uh, uh, shove tampons up your ass? <laughs> that's what the kids do. They dip. Look, she's telling Blanche. Blanche, this is what they do. They, they, I'll tell you, it's louder. Look, they, they, they stick the tampon in alcohol and shove up their asses. What the fuck is that about, man? Yeah? Hey, do they light it? What the fuck's wrong with you? If they light it, they die. I fucking got some over the place. Are you kidding me? What, what, what do you think it would happen? No wonder she had to explain it to you. Blanche, don't light it, okay? Whatever you do, if you stick them up your ass, please do not. Don't, don't go anywhere near a candle, all right? Just stop. They do, man. You heard about that, eh? Ben, did you hear about that? Bullshit. It's got a tampon in right now. Huh? What is it? Is it like some weird game for you guys now? Hey, where you sit around and fart and wonder, like, what was that, a party? What was that, Roman Pope? Ryan Ginger, don't tell me, don't tell me. Black Russian. Black Russian? Crazy shit, though, ain't eh? it? Absolutely crazy. What a crazy world. Um, my wife. Oh, yes, I'm married. Um, my wife's been in a horrible mood for like 17 years. She comes home from work at 5.30 today, and she just starts freaking out on me as soon as she comes into the door. She's like, the dishes haven't been done, the floor hasn't been vacuumed, and your dirty laundry's still in the upstairs bedroom. And I was like, hey, I just got up. <laughs> Folks, you ever have a job that you hated so much that while you were driving to it, you would pray to God you got into an accident? I hate working from lazy. Why is it whenever you tell your dog, let's go for a walk, your dog loses its fucking mind? You ever notice that it's like your dog could be in a corner somewhere, in a coma? You say those magic words, hey girl, you want to go for a walk? Are you lying to me? Well, right now you're not lying, right? We're going to the park, right? You're not setting me up. This isn't some type of weird joke. We're really going, right? We're not. Holy shit. It's like I've known you for seven years. I've said it to you twice a day, every day. What are you going to be such a spaz for? I've got a 130 pound Rottweiler. Beautiful dog. Got the brains of a hamster, though. The other day, my dog farted so loud, she thought somebody was at the door. <laughs> she actually got up and checked. She's like, you hear that? Huh? You hear that? You stay here. I'll go check it out. She comes back all confused. I don't know. It's got to be kids or something. I don't know. This whole neighborhood's going down. Hey, why does it smell like shit here? <laughs> Did you fart? Then you find yourself in a conversation with your dog. That wasn't the door, you silly Willie. That was you. You've had a rough day. Take one of your 18 hour naps. Do you like uh, horror movies? I said horror movies. Do you like horror movies? Yeah. Do you, do you ever watch, do you, do you watch them alone? Or do you need somebody there? Do you watch them by yourself? What, what types of scary movies do you watch? Don't worry, we got time. We have plenty of fucking time. You can't handle any? How about you? Scary movies? You don't watch horror movies? You freak out? You? Do you watch them? No? You freak out? Do you watch them? No. Scary. No. The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead? You like that one? No. You have to stop watching. It freaks you out. Now, do you watch them by yourself, or do you watch them with a friend? Do you watch them with your friends, right? See, I, I, me too, I could never watch a horror movie by myself. So I watch them with my six-year-old, right? <laughs> well, the boy hasn't slept in two years, I'll admit that. Right? You know, fuck it, I gotta see this shit, right? So the other day, we're watching this uh, uh, werewolf movie, 
you know, this werewolf movie, and uh, it was this movie called, uh, uh, I always forget the fucking name. I've done this bit about 30 times, and I always forget the name. Underworld, right? Underworld, where these werewolves, these, these werewolves are beating the shit out of each other, right? Absolutely beating the crap out of each other. So, um, what happened was, is, uh, 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 like, they're, they're, like, it was like UFC fighting or something. They're all fighting each other, and blah, blah, blah. And they're ripping each other's intestines out, and all of a sudden, they change back into human form, and they're completely naked. And my son says to me, he goes, Dad, what happened? And, you know, I explain to him, I go, see, son, when they were, like, big werewolves, they were nine feet tall, muscles, their clothes got ripped off, and then when they change back, you know, the clothes cannot stay on them, you right? So the clothes fall off. This isn't the whole bullshit, this is real life, son. <laughs> So we're watching this, and he jumps off the couch, and uh, he, he starts ripping off his clothes. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? And he's like, Dad, let's play werewolves. I'm like, we can't play werewolves. We can't, you're crazy. We can't. He's like, Dad, come on. And you know, I'm sitting there thinking, well, fuck, what else am I doing today? You know? He's got a point, right? So I rub off on my clothes, and we start going at it. Right? We start like, pretending to rip each other's intestines up, making the weird noises and everything, right? And uh, all of a sudden, he just stops. He just stops. And he goes, Dad, what is that? I'm like, oh, no. He must see my enormous penis. And he's thinking that's a tripod of some sort. You know what I mean? But no, it wasn't that. Not at all. I kept asking, are you sure it isn't the size that's freaking you out some? It's the size, right? And he's like, no. He says to me, he goes, Dad, why does yours look different than mine? And I'm like, oh, okay, well, uh, you see, um, you're circumcised. He, he didn't understand what I was talking about. I go, I go all right, okay. Um, you see, when you were born, me and your mother looked into it, and it would be, you know, more, you know, health-wise and more beneficial if people thought you were Jewish. <laughs> You don't understand what I was talking about. So uh, uh, he, he stops with this, but he said, he goes, Dad, it looks like an elephant's trunk. And you know what? That was the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me in my whole life. And I made him. You know what I mean? It just got to me. I put little tears in my eyes. I was like, oh, fuck, you are a jewel. Now let's get back to pretending to rip you know, each other's intestines up, right? So we're still going at it. And all of a sudden, the front door opened up, and my wife and her sister got in, right? And uh, I dive behind the couch, you know? and my wife starts freaking out. She's like, what the hell's going on here? What the hell's going on here? You know, what's going on? And, and you know, my son's like, Mom, it's okay. We're playing werewolves, you know? And my mom, you know, like, she's like, no, you're not playing werewolves. What the hell are you teaching our son? And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching our son that if he ever sees a naked guy in the subway, not to sit beside him, because he's probably a werewolf. <laughs> I'm trying to help him out here. I got this buddy that never shuts up. You ever know one of those guys? Just yeah. a chatterbox. Just never shuts up. Just talks about himself. I mean, he doesn't need to start now, but... Okay, here we go. The other day, we're sitting there watching a the game, and right in the middle of the game, this is what he says to me, right in the middle, and he just talks about himself, drives me nuts. He's like, right in the middle of the game, he goes, hey, last night I was on this date with this girl. She let me stick my finger in her bum. I'm like, what the fuck is that all about? Why are you telling me this? What's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't care if you stuck your finger in some chick's ass. What do I care? Just get your fingers out of my chips. <laughs> uh, this morning I woke up to the biggest, meanest part on. Eh? You do that all the time, don't you? You're just hard as a fucking rock, aren't you? You the uh, big guy over there? Yeah, you're hurt all the time, aren't you? When you reach my age, it pisses you off. It really does, eh? You know, eh? Just, you're like, why are you awake? Why? Why? I'll feed you later. Come on. You gotta, eh? You gotta beat the shit out of your dick, eh? You take a piss? Doesn't that suck? You gotta literally beat the shit out of it. You're like, come on, read a McNeil naked. Go to sleep. Come on. Eh? 
huh? Come on. She here? <laughs> then you got the wife banging on the door. You'd have better not be pissing all over the floor, mister. It's not the floor I'm worried about, actually. Then I start thinking, man, I must have had a pretty kinky dream last night, you know? I must have had some pretty kinky to, you know, to, to get them all happy. You know what I dreamt about? Tim Hortons. You laugh, I start having a panic attack. I'm like, well, what if I get a heart on every time I see a Tim Hortons? I'll be dead in less than a week. That's all I need. I go through the drive-thru, how are you doing? That, that's just my cock. Listen, we're not going to need a bag for any of those donuts. Yeah, that's right. We're going to play ring toss with my penis. You got one on me, you want a prize. Gives a whole new meeting to roll up the ring to win. Who's with me? Hands? Folks, good night. Thank you for coming out, all right?